What's up guys, it's Blooming Guy, and welcome back to another episode, or part, of Septo Conquest. In the last part we got through Mount Gen Genji pretty quickly, and now we're going to see what's up ahead. Now as you can see here, there are two of the Karate Twins, just like in Fire Red and Leaf Green, that they'll, you know, teach you either Mega Punch or Mega Kick. Uh, I don't really like to do those tutor things, because you only learn the move once, and that has to be a move that I'm never going to forget. And, as you know right here this is an another entrance to Mount Genji but as you can see it's blocked off so that was also the reason why the other guy um, the other person who let's played it didn't um, continue because he said he couldn't go back to the route but yeah and then you got this maze here which is a little mind-numbing but you can get past it it's just it's not really hard it's just it's here I don't know why this maze thing is here but you know, the creators do what they please, I guess. And then we gotta go down here. I don't know how to get up there yet, but uh, we'll find out eventually. Avoid the grass. And then here we are. We're going to go to this new town called um, Balthier Rock. And of course, here's the town sign. This town was built on rocks for some unknown reason. So, you got this guy course we're gonna go into this house and he I think that's the person with the badges so that's not really important right, let's move on oh this guy um he has the powder jar so they only changed the, the text for this guy but then again I don't know when I'm gonna be using the powder jar cuz well I could just sell stuff and buy stuff Anyway, we're coming up to a key point here. Uh, as soon as I exit this house, I end up here. Where there's a reference to Mei from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. Right. So, and that's not the only house that does that, by the way. This house, I think, is the trading in Poliwhirl thing. So, I don't really have a jinx. Here's a policeman. Yeah, simple. And here, this house has not much of an importance. Plus, uh, you'll see. That was funny. I had to actually say that was really funny. The voice in your head. And I don't know what he's going to use with the TM because he's a human and not a Pokemon. So, just run over here real quick. This guy, I don't even know, but I don't think he's gonna really say anything important. And I'm back here, and again, with, I'm back here again with May. You know, sometimes I forget what I'm playing, and this bike shop doesn't exist. So yeah, ignore. Here's the Pokemon Center. Then talk to all these people. You can get um information on Bill. Of course, altered. Since it's Pokemon Center, I can heal up. Thank goodness. See? Yeah. Lie. Creepy. Okay. Well, if he's a Pokemon thief, he's not a very good... He's not doing a very good job at that. And there's no upstairs for me to do the... The very thing. This ROM, man. It's crazy. Then again, how would I get wireless people on a ROM to join me and stuff? And then, here's the shop. They... They foreshadowed the next two parts of the region. Which means the game's pretty big. Those two people... Are the creators? I think. Yeah, they are the creators. I don't know where Zand is. I have to look that up later. But yeah, this little boy right here made a reference to the two creators. So, um, I think I'll put the names of them in the description. But then again, maybe they don't want to be known. I'll take up some repels because this is really going to be annoying. And of course, more pokeballs because catching off screen. It's fun. 
I think that's the only thing I have a problem with this game. The fact that they still have people with, um, uh, the aid, the aids, the aid, the people who helped Professor Oak, I don't know how to pronounce it, because I don't want to sound stupid, but yeah, there's, um, Greg's lair, we'll get to that later. And of course, the dialogue is unchanged, now we're going to fight this yellow guy, Team Solar. You know, for a Team Solar member, he has a weird setup. Huh. Alright, Jessica, let's see Thundershock. And then he uses Focus Energy. Like that's gonna do something. It's not a setup, really. It's just Focus Energy. Leers me, because I know a Karate Chopper Sutton's coming up. I'm just gonna keep using Thundershock. And he leers me, lowering my defenses again, when clearly he doesn't know that I have a quick attack. And he's dead. So now Jessica goes up. We got Drowsy here. So I'm gonna send out Skarmory because Drowsy psychic types don't do nothing on steel types. Got a peck right there. Wow, nice. Nice job. <clears throat> nice job, Skyman. And just swift it to death. If he lived that swift, hacks. Alright. We got somebody. Then he gives me dig. Which I don't think I can use yet. So yeah, now we're gonna get to Bill's Lair. To get to Bill's Lair, you have to go into this house. Take this Sabrina teleporter thing. Then you go down here, and sometimes you can't go walk into certain places. And here's Bill's Lair. Now, before we even attempt to go here, because of all my editing and stuff, I'm gonna use a repel. I'm not gonna run into any Pokemon, right? What? Yeah, that was a level 21 male Abra. So, yeah. Now, since we're gonna fight again, I might as well put Skyman up to lead, and I switch up positions just in case if they have roar or not and that was just weird so let's see Wally mindless clone 1897 Rattata Rattata a lot of names I don't know the true name of Rattata Rattata hyperfanging a steel tie that's real nice I gotta pick a move swift it a crit on you're doing a really good job sky man really good job I mean crits at the wrong time but really good job Ekans. now I don't know why I don't keep sky maiden in I guess I want to keep it balanced on experience so so you don't do your stuff intimidate doesn't mean nothing at all let's see what I got I'm gonna water gun it let's see where that takes me Wow. Leers me. Even though my Squirtle is pretty... I mean, Squirtle. Mortal is pretty defensive. Water gun again. Poison sting. Don't poison me. Good. Water gun. Because that percentage of it might poison you usually kicks in a lot in this game. Level up. Which is cool. Let's see. Defeated Wally. Oh, darn. And I got 56 cents. You know... You know, you can go somewhere. What do you have to say? Okay, and with that dialogue, I guess we'll end off the episode here. Uh, stay tuned for the next part of Septo Conquest. Hope you guys enjoyed, of course. And I'll catch you all later.